Hi Scorpio and Happy New Year to all of you. Uh, this is going to be your general love reading for the first half of January 2022 and it is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And it is general so it's not going to be everybody's situation but you can check out one of your other signs if you want or you can book a personal reading with me for more specific information. All that information is in the description box. All right, Scorpio, let's see. What is the overall energy for you? We have contemplation. Okay, so somebody is thinking, thinking a lot, possibly thinking about you. Maybe this is you um, thinking about what you should do about a particular connection here. We're going to get into it, the tarot and find out. So Scorpio, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. First couple of weeks of January. Do keep in mind also that the roles can be reversed because the reading is general. All right, let's see. For the situation, we have temperance crossed by the emperor. Okay, wow, big energies here. So there is a lot of healing that is happening. There's um, possibly, <laughs> possibly there's been a lot of patience. Um, but I feel like what the challenge here is, is to just really feel like you can handle this, that you can really be in charge of your own self. It could be the other person here as well, okay? But really feeling like you can handle this situation and to really be able to um, take on this challenge, right? Especially if it is requiring patience or a lot of healing. We're, we're going to get more once we clarify. So for your recent past, we have the Eight of Swords, your current energy, the Ten of Wands, and coming up in the near future for you, we have the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so you may have felt a little bit... Um, I'm not getting a trapped feeling here, actually, with this, with this Eight of Swords. It feels more like feeling like you're just stuck in this situation that just doesn't seem to be changing. And that, you know, maybe there's just no way that it's, things are going to work out. Not being able to see any visible results or any visible movement or what the possible solution could be. And I feel like, like I said, I feel like this has been going on for a long time. And so that's why you have the Ten of Wands now where you're feeling like you've just been carrying this burden for way too long. I do see you balancing out though, okay? The Six of Pentacles here in your near future, it could be um, all about an um, reciprocity here, right? And even exchange of give and take. Let's see, let's see for them. For them, recent past, we have the Ace of Cups, current energy, the Seven of Wands, near future, the King of Swords, and potential outcome here, we have the Queen of Wands. All right, interesting, we have this, um, in the exact same position for cancer, actually. So maybe some of you are dealing with, with a cancer. Um, we also have Sagittarius showing up, and also I feel Aries. All right, so for this person, this is somebody who um, does have a lot of love for you. And I feel like they may have expressed that or they may have even showed that quite a bit in the past. But they seem to be guarded at the moment which again, that does feel like it's going to shift here. And I feel like that's why you have the Six of Pentacles in your near future, right? Where it's like there's this even give and take energy because this person is taking charge here and either making the decision or just really taking some action. But let's see. So yeah, now looking at this, um, at this main situation here, I feel like this is a lot of patience and a lot of healing having happened throughout this waiting for this emperor to really become the emperor and come in. So let's clarify. Let's see. Temperance with the emperor. All right, we have the page of wands the Six of Swords, and the King of Wands. Okay, interesting. So, the 
the Page of Wands and then the King of Wands. So, you know, it, it really feels like this is what you were waiting for. You were waiting for this person who appeared. Their energy was like a page, right? A little bit um, more inconsistent. Like the passion was there. Um, it, it feels like the drive was there. The um, excitement was all there. But you were waiting for this to progress to the King. All right, because having this six of swords right in the middle here, it's like waiting for this movement to happen because this page energy could have brought in some conflict for you. I feel like that is what created this eight of swords for you. Feeling like things are just never really going to um, come full circle, possibly. Or whatever it is that this person needed to do um, to be in this King of Wands energy, whatever that represents to you, right? The King of Wands would be somebody who actually um, overcomes obstacles, right? Is a go-getter, is driven, is mature, with a lot of passion, but actually gets things done. I feel like the page is just kind of like, yeah, I want to get things done. I want to do this. I want to do that, but not fully doing it. And this is what you, you were waiting for for them to step into this Emperor and King of Wands energy. Let's see what Eight of Swords for your recent past. And it could even be that this person kind of fluctuated between the two, like that wouldn't surprise me if there were times where they were giving you hints, right, of being more mature or of being more in control and just more stable overall, um, only to kind of go back to that page energy. All right, so for the Eight of Swords, we have the Two of Cups. Okay, <laughs> so you, yeah, you felt stuck in this. Um, it, it could even be that you wanted to get away from this connection, or for some of you, maybe you, that idea passed through your minds, but it's like you felt like you just cannot. You really feel that love, and I can see why, because this person has... A lot of love for you as well so you were picking up on that and so you just felt stuck in this love connection where it just didn't feel like like this person was actually um, achieving a particular goal here that needed to be achieved let's see the ace of cups for them even though i mean i don't even really need to clarify that but let's see the queen of swords yeah so this person is very very aware of how they feel about you it's not that they're in denial it's not anything of that there is a lot of clarity but because they do have they've now gotten both the queen as well as the king of swords i do feel like you know sometimes they might be a little bit aloof like just um putting some distance between the two of you So yeah, I feel like that's pretty much what happened, um, or what's been happening. Let's see, let's see the Seven of Wands for their current energy. All right, Justice, the Hermit, and the Three of Cups. All right, so Libra and Virgo showing up now. Um, yeah, a lot of you might be dealing with a Libra here because we do have quite a bit of air in this person's energy. Um, what is this person doing? Okay, because it, like they're guarded, but it feels like they're guarded for now because they feel like They feel like it's the right way to go about this having a reconciliation with you or about um, it's, it's the way that they feel is the best way to get to this point of happiness with you or to make things lighter. So I don't know what it is that could be going on. It could be a whole bunch of different things for each of you. It could be that for some of them there's a decision that they are in the process of making. But whatever the case is, I feel like this person is um, learning a lot of lessons and actually doing a lot of soul searching during this process or during this time where, where they kind of have their guard up. So they are keeping a bit of a distance. I feel like that, that's where the contemplation actually comes in, right? Which is the very first card we had out here. 
it's like they are um, thinking very, very deeply about what is the best way, how, what would be fair. Almost like, you know, maybe they feel like at the moment, if they were to open up more to you, that it, they wouldn't be able to give to you as much as you give to them. Now, whether you might be like, well, that doesn't matter to me, you know, you just give me what you can and I'm happy with that, but that's not their perspective. They're seeing it as they want to be fair. And so there's something here that they're trying to work out within their own self in order to have a happier and, and like lighter type of um, a connection with you. And when I say lighter, I don't mean that, you know, it's not that they don't want commitment or something like that. I just mean, you know, without heaviness, without burdens or without, um, I don't know, grief or something or whatever it is that they might be going through financial difficulties it's going to be different for for each of them but there's something here that they're trying to figure out and so during this time that they have their guard up let's see the ten of wands for you oh the Knight of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, so interesting because it's like, it's like you have a completely different perspective than they do. For you, it's like, you know what? No, but it's more of a burden, you acting this way. <clears throat> it's like you would have rather them be open and present, not having their guard up, even if they are having some difficulties, even if they can't give you... 100%. So it's like you're in a disagreement with them on this, but I don't think that you, <clears throat> for most of you, I don't think you've actually like discussed it. Um, <clears throat> it's just having a different perspective. And so what they're doing by having their guard up, that's actually more burdensome for you than if they could just put down their guard and just, you know, um, give what they can. But <clears throat> I feel like there's a reason for all of this, right? There's there's patience here that is being learned. And I know it's like that's like the most annoying thing to hear or to say, but that's that's actually the message here. And yeah, you know, the way that they are presenting themselves, I feel like that is actually making you feel ignored or like they're leaving you out in the cold. <clears throat> but again, there's there's a purpose for this. That's why we have the Knight of Pentacles. Things are slowly moving in the direction that they need to. And this is the way that this person can actually um, do this. All right, so let's, uh, let's see this King of Swords. They're just coming up in their energy. So we have the Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this person's going to be putting in a lot of effort. This is the decision that they are making um, coming up and being very, very determined for this, right? To be able to compromise. I love that we got the Three of Pentacles because in this particular context, it's like the closest thing to that Six of Pentacles, like working together, right? This is all about teamwork. Um, and this is what would be needed in order for you to have that that equal reciprocity and it's showing up here for them, right? Putting in that effort to be able to give to you as much as you are able to give to them. At least when it comes to effort, right? Because everybody is different. So, you know, maybe your 100% is more than what this person's 100% is, right? So, but if you're both putting in 100%, well then it's still equal. Let's see the Six of Pentacles for you. All right, the Chariot and the Five of Swords. Again, I feel like this is just um, a lot of a lot of effort that this person is going to try to be able to give this to you 
at all costs, basically, and I feel like it's it's going to happen pretty quick. Um, because I, I, from the very beginning, I saw the Six of Pentacles as an energy that's coming towards you and not really it being yours. It's more of what it is that you are receiving. And so I feel like you are receiving, for some of you, it might even be a gift, like literally. I don't know why I just got that, but that's what I, that's what I got. Um, it could be a gift that you're really not expecting. But yeah, there's... <laughs> and the way this is coming in is also like you might be in a little bit of disbelief about this person's effort because this person's coming in with so much determinism, so much effort that you might be a little bit distrustful of that because it's going to feel like it's happened so sudden. Suddenly. <laughs> Sorry. This is also your energy um, showing up here, right, with the chariot. So, oh, no. You're Scorpio. You're not Cancer. <laughs> All right, so we do have Cancer, though, showing up here. So some of you, I think I could have sworn I said that earlier, too, that some of you might be dealing with a Cancer. Did I say that, or was I just thinking that for some reason? Honestly, I don't remember. All right, so let's clarify the Queen of Wands. I think my mind gets... A little jumbled sometimes with all the with all the signs. All right, so clarifying the Queen of Wands, we have the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. All right. This is a lot of um, assertiveness, passion and confidence that is that is coming in here and I do see this person I mean I still feel like they're not 100% in this kings or embers energy all right for the potential outcome at least for now but they're putting in this effort all right because okay they're already in this page of wands <clears throat> energy and what I see happening here is that okay yeah the passion is there it's been there. The drive has also been there. Um, but now it's like taking a practical step as well as opening up emotionally for this new path. And that is happening with a lot of confidence. And I do love that we have both the King of um, Wands here as well as the Queen of Wands. So it's like almost like they're a step before fully embodying this king's energy here. Taking it step by step, opening up this new path here. It's just that, you know, this contemplation, this thinking and figuring it all out is taking a little bit of time. But it is happening. All right, so Scorpio, let's get the final message for you if this resonated. All right, and we have the new moon in Taurus. Prosperity lies ahead. One of the other signs got this. I can't remember which one. Um, but yeah, prosperity is not just talking about finances. It's talking about abundance just in general, overall, right? Um, finding that treasure, feeling like you are prosperous, right? And this is all about love here. So apply it as it makes sense for you. All right, Scorpio, those were your messages. I thank you so much for watching. Much love.